We'll talk about that because world's first, yeah. world's only. Is that behind a boat or just in general? Yeah, so there's been one guy, um, Cody Hess, that has done it off of a kicker, like behind a cable, yep. pulling you above. I don't know if you've seen that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, mine, mine was the first behind, behind a boat. How is the yeah. mindset going into try and do something that has never been done? Yeah, like, at the contest, like, the day that I did it, dude, I was, like, it's the most locked in I've ever been in my life, dude. It was, like, it was such, like, a sick feeling, dude, like, just getting ready, like, just getting hype. Like, I was so confident and, like, so locked in. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to get that locked in again, for real. Um, But then, yeah, just, like, just going out and trying it, like, before I landed it. um, There were some, like, long, long days. But same with that, dude. Like, I would get... I remember the very first time I tried it, I I was nervous like two days before. Like we planned a day to like go out and do it, and I was like I was nervous for like the whole two days like before. And I was like I was like I was talking to my buddy. I was like, "That's how you know a trick is scary is when it's like you're about to do it two days away, and you're like already freaking out." <laughs> That's a th- like you don't have any reference points. Like yeah. You, what What do you mean? Well, if someone else had done it, you could kind of oh, study yeah, yeah, yeah. study the like what they've done and be like, "Oh, well, he he did it, so it's doable." Yeah. No one had ever done it yep. like how you wanted to do it. Yeah. So that's the hard part is. Yeah, for sure. There's no teachers here. Yeah. No, 100%. You're setting um, the base. Yeah. And that trick is, it's a very like high intensity trick and more of a trick that you like just have to huck. Like it's hard to think about like certain things that you have to do. Like, oh, like I got a, I don't even know, like, like edge in a bit slower and all that stuff. Like it's. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, like, nitpick, like, oh, this is what I did wrong. It's more of a trick where you have to just, like, just huck it every time, you know, and just hope it hope it comes around good. So how many attempts did it take you before you landed it? It was the 30th attempt. And yeah. then, so, I, yeah, so I was, telling, I was telling you this last night, though. 30 attempts, like, it doesn't really seem like a whole lot, right? But um, it was off the double up. So a double up is where you the boat drives and then you do a really wide turn and cross over your own rollers. And then when those rollers time up, you hit it. So the wake is basically like double the size. Um, but there were so many times where like I didn't get the perfect takeoff. It didn't look right or whatever. So I'd do like double flips and like, yeah, I'm not joking. Like I had to have done like hundreds of double flips just to get those 30 attempts. Um, so just like beating up your body, like every double up takes like two minutes to drive, you know, like it was just so, yeah, it was a lot that went into it for sure. Cause I think, I think about that and it's always going to be different. Like that wake is yeah. always going to be slightly yep. different. And yeah. You're never going to like, I think, and Corey and Harry Bink uh, were talking about this when he was doing his triple flip on a motorbike. Yeah. And he's like, the ramp doesn't change. Yeah. You can kind of lock into, well, I can just, I know how it's going to be where you're coming into a, a wake that's always changing yeah 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 yeah. you're you're working with water so it's you know constantly moving um and every double up is going to be a little bit different and yeah a little unpredictable for sure how did the body feel after some of those hits dude was there one that happened you're like is this even worth it no i always knew that i would keep trying it but there were some for sure that i was just yeah just beat up on i remember yeah just like in 2023 one of the attempts that i did i just like a couple of them were just, like, a crazy whiplash. And I'm telling you, like, my neck has never been this sore. I remember waking up, and, like, my neck was so sore that, like, my throat hurt. It was, like, all in, like, the front, dude. And I remember I went to my, my chiropractor chick. She was cracking me up and stuff, and then I was telling her that my neck was crazy sore. And she was, like, she was like going like this, like, digging into my neck. And I was just dying. I was on the table just, like, uh, like about to, like, scream, dude. So bad. And then you're like, all right, let's go do that again. Yeah, yeah. But no, you'd, I'd have to take, like, days off. I, I would take, like, at least, like, a couple of days in between to, to recover up. And then just go back and throw down again. Sure. Because I guess you want the consistency sure. of keep keep trying, but also your body's not going to be able to, like, allow you to do that either. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I definitely I definitely made sure every time before I tried it, I was feeling um, pretty close to, like, 100% because it's, like, definitely not something that I wanted to mess around with for sure. Didn't want 